Okay. I'm about to go into a meltdown. Not a breakdown. It's not time for that yet, but a meltdown. Oh, this month is just beating my tail. Kicking me in my tail. Why? Why? Why is this month kicking me in, in, in my tail? I have to do the week 13 aftermath, though. I have to do the week, the week 14 aftermath and do week 15. You get the point of the NFL pickup. But before we get to the NFL pickup, by the way, I forgot to say that uh, George Santos, the former representative of New York, uh, got kicked out of Congress uh, because of his uh, lying team. And still, no, okay, no, that's not Eddie Guerrero, but you know that man. And there was a story, but I mean, what's up with Congress? First with the uh, historic ouster of Kevin McCarthy, and now he now he, it's almost seems like he's forced out because he's not even running for re-election. Now, now on top of that, uh, George Santos of New York got expelled from Congress. What the heck is going on in Congress? What is going on? Am I watching Congress or the WWE? And I'm a fan of the WWE. Anyway, the real story that I wanted to do, yes. I had to be jealous because the fact that my queens, uh, my queen and my, uh, you know, anybody that uh, that I turned into palace princesses uh, always had to wind up disappearing. But now I had to be jealous of Travis K and Taylor Swift again. But now the story that the uh, the friend of the courts, uh, aka Chief Justice, was not true yet. They're not engaged yet. The key word is yet. But! Now all of a sudden, I guess YouTube must know that I'm jealous of uh, Travis K and Taylor Swift because they're popping up all over the place on YouTube when I'm trying to watch my other favorite videos. So I have to be stuck in that cell for it because it's like, really? I'm the one that had a secret cross on Taylor Swift, especially when she did her song, uh, You Belong With Me. But I think that's all thinking about me. But. Uh, and the Aries tour video. When I finally saw the father. And, and um, Travis K together. And then reacted when uh, Taylor Swift um, did the uh, karma song. And she changed the word from her, her former boyfriend to her current boyfriend. You know, karma, with the, uh, karma is the uh the guy from the cheat that coming home, uh, say home to me tonight. I was like devastated. I was like, what? To what? And now, just the other day, right before I was like trying to calm myself down, okay, on survival mode, and get out of here, fly. You're not a part of the podcast. Anyway, pay no attention to the uh, the trumpet sound from the battery of the alarm. Pay no attention to that. I can't I can't control that. But anyway, uh, Taylor Swift and Travis K. As you know, Taylor Swift is going to be celebrating birthday this month, which is oh next week. She'll be thirty four, and it's been rumored that Travis K. planned a very special birthday party for her. Or maybe a private dinner for her, stuff like that. And then, instead of waiting for Christmas to pop the question to her, now I got to deal with the aftermath of possibly waiting until the middle of the week to go bonkers. Because I heard that Travis K is planning to go get the proposal on her birthday. Oh, yeah. I got the video. Well, I, I, I saw the proof video, and I sent the judge the proof video, too. Uh, the chief justice, by the way. The proof video. And now you, may, now you might be wondering, okay, Prince DJ, why are you talking about Travis K and Taylor Swift? Simple, easy question. One, I'm doing the NFL pickup. Two, Taylor Swift is, uh, Taylor Swift is, um, you know, dating Cat Travis K, who is a part of my team, the Chiefs. One of my team. And then Travis K, brother, is from the Eagles, another part of, uh, Taylor Swift team. And I think there was, uh, they were, uh, saying that, uh, um, 
Taylor Swift was uh, hanging out with Patrick Mahone and, and his girlfriend and stuff like that. So, oh, oh, and I also saw Seth Rollins and, and Becky Lynch and her son at Disney uh, Disney World or Disneyland. The one that I announced on this program years ago when I first had a crush on her, Seth Rollins was like, ah, 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 you can't go have a crush on her. And that was when they started dating. When I, I think I was, oh yeah, I was in Missouri back then. Yeah. Anyway, so this week is going to be putting me on the edge. This week is going to put me on nerves. Uh, I, 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 I haven't even looked up uh, when it uh, uh, tell us what birthday is. But I'm pretty sure that I will find out pretty soon. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, help me, Father. Help me, Father. Help me, Father. Help me, Father. Help, 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 help. Why is this month kicking my tail? Why is this month kicking my tail? I do not know. But, without further ado, let's go with the aftermath of week 13 of your NFL pickup. All right. Now, we start with the... Oh, it was one of my double downs, I believe. It was the uh, the Cowboys, which is one of my uh, one of my team, versus the Seahawks, and hmm, yeah, the Cowboys won by the score of forty one to thirty five, and that's my first win. And by the way, a double down. Okay. Uh, now to the sun, all the Sunday game until we get to the Monday game. Uh, the Colts versus the Titans. Uh, the Colts will, 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 uh, beat the Titans by the score of 31-28. So that's the second win. By the way, a double down. Oh, whoa. Uh, can somebody please tell me where the Jets are at? Because the Falcons didn't even let the Jets in, in the building, even though it was a double down. But the final score is 13 to 8. So that's three wins, by the way, at that double down. And let me tell you both again the reason why I have double downs is could be referees getting into with bad calls, or it could be bad plays. And. And especially, especially that play where in the fourth quarter they had to have two field goals for the Panthers beat the Texans. And I'm still fuming over that one. I'm still fuming over that game. Really, I couldn't believe I heard it when I was in the whip group. Uh, I'm glad I didn't hear the rest of the game because that would have been a, a roller coaster. I'm already in the most on roller coaster by this week. Anyway. It's a tornado alert in Big D country. A tornado alert this week for Big D country. Anyway, the Lions versus the Saints. Yes, it's those lucky Lions. But, yeah, I lost my the first one of the ride or die. One, because, okay, so how many wins do I have? One, two, three. I have three, three wins and one loss. Because the lucky Lions are at it again, 33-28 to 28 on my ride or die to Saints. All right. Uh, the Broncos versus the Tennessee Titans. And their, uh, yeah, uh, their score is 22-17, uh, to 17, at least the Texas one. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so now that's fourth win. Okay. All right. The, uh, second. Whoa. Wow. Actually, no, that's not my second because I, I refuse to uh, pick this game. But the thing that surprised me is that the Chargers beat the Patriots in a, in a very low scoring game. And the fact that. This is laughable right now. This is laughable. I I I can't believe I'm saying that. But the Patriots. The, 
<laughs> wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait, you mean to tell me that the Patriots didn't even score the entire game? Am I reading this correctly? Am I reading this correctly? The Patriots did not even score the entire game. What is it? Four quarters of the football, uh, not including halftime? The Patriots, my March Nemesis, I am literally laughing right now. Played the Chargers. The Chargers literally kicked their tails, even though it's a little score. It's six to nothing. And the. Uh, the <laughs> I don't believe this. Wait, the Patriots was not allowed to score. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Oh my God, six to nothing. On oh, the game that I didn't even pick. Oh, that was funny. At least I, it, I may be down that time, but at least I can still laugh. So that's, that's a no contest right there. So I only got one loss. <laughs> I only got one loss and one, two... Three, four wins. Wow, that was funny. The Patriots never scored. Never scored. The whole entire game. Unbelievable. And where did my place go? Uh, where did my place go? Okay. Uh, where am I at? Okay, here we go. So I have four wins, one loss, and, and one draw. Oh, not even a draw, one one no pick. But that was the funniest no pick that I ever had in the history and entirety of the NFL pickup. My arch mimesis failed to score. Now that's funny. That's funny. That is funny. Anyway, uh Cardinals versus the, the Steelers. And that was a double down. So here comes my fifth win. Because the score is 24-10 to Cardinals. Well, I did at least when one of my riders died because the uh, Dolphins took command over the stupid, stupidest team, the Commanders, and the Dolphins put the Commanders in their place. Thank you, Dolphins. Thank you. And the final score is 45-15. to 15. Now, that is a football score. That is a score that you want to see on a lot of games. Okay, so that is one, two, three, four, five wins, five, six wins, actually. Uh, six wins, one loss. Yes, five wins, six, uh, six wins, one, lo uh, one loss, and one draw, or one non-pick. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, okay. Because here comes seven. No, not seven. Uh, I don't know. what I, I think this was another non-pick game because I didn't like the Panthers and what they did to my uh, to my Houston, Texas, and I don't like the Buccaneers. But I will report that uh, I'm going to count this as another draw. So it's two draws. 21-18, uh, fortunately, Buccaneers. Okay, so here's the eighth window. Uh, 49ers, uh, versus the Eagles, uh, the 49ers beat the Eagles by the score of 42 to 19, and that is my eighth win. Okay, two losses. Um, the, uh, nine, uh, the Brown was beaten by greed. The Traders! The Traders won? Oh come on! You mean to tell me that the Traders won? The one that left uh, uh the one that left the uh the St. Louis and left left us without a team? Well, once I left the St. Louis, but you know what the you know what the hell I meant. The final score was thirty six to nineteen. Not proud of that one. So that was my second loss. Okay. So that seven seven wins, two loss, two draws. No, two non-picks. Okay. Oh! I just talked about this one. Oh, yeah. No wonder why I was seeing when, um, when they were saying uh, even the, uh, the red uh, shirt that Telus was wearing didn't even help uh, uh, um, uh, 
Travis K get the win for the team. No wonder. Because the uh, the Chiefs lost, even though they're one of my team, they lost against the Packers, and I'm glad that was a ride-or-die game. Not a ride-or-die game. I'm glad that that was a uh, double-down game, I should say. And the score was 27-19. to 19, The Packers on a double-down. Okay. All right. Uh, the Bengals, oh yeah, this is a Monday night, by the way, uh, which was December the 4th. Uh, the Bengals versus the Jaguars, uh, the Bengals beat the Jaguars by the score of 34-31. And that is your week, th- uh, week 13 of the NFL pickup. Uh... I will never forget the, the time that I heard, and I saw the reaction on Travis K. face with smiling. Karma is the guy from the Chiefs that coming straight home to me tonight. Really? Really? Why not? Karma is the one that does the big D. Uh, the big D zone is coming home to you tonight. Or why not? Karma is the is the uh, the guy that uh, from Big D Country come home to you to you tonight. Yeah, that that would be big because I always use Big D Country. Help! Ah, I can't believe it. I can't believe this. I I I got to get out of December. I got to get out of December. December, let me out. Let me out. I want to get to 2024 alive. I want to get to 2024, please. Anyway. Out. By the way, December, you're fine.